So I get this question all the time, like how do you color water? And honestly, I find this question hard to answer because every time I open a coloring book and I choose a page where I have to color water, I do it differently. This page will look different from previous pages where I colored water and that's normal. So whilst I can show you how I did it on this page and you can follow along with me, remember that you are free to color water however you feel like it. That's the beauty of coloring books. We're starting today with watercolors. I'm only using one color and that's the Windsor and Newton Cerulean Blue, but any mid-bright blue will do the trick. The reason why I start with watercolors is because they significantly reduce the amount of time spent on one coloring page. They really made my coloring life so much easier and quicker. And this also applies for my Tombow dual brush markers that we will use later on. A year ago I would do a month over a page like this and now I can do it in a week or two. Um, and don't get me wrong, it's not about the time spent on a page that matters, but it does make me happy to see the results quicker. But you do you, it doesn't matter how long you spent on a page as long as you enjoy the process. I will have a separate video on how I colored these crocodiles if you would be interested in that part as well. So I start adding details to the water with my Tombow dual brush markers. I really love them, although they're quite expensive in Europe, um, but it's worth the investment. And this is not an ad, this is just me really liking them. They don't bleed through the page and it covers the white grain of the page really well. So when you color on top of it with pencils, you can really focus on adding details instead of adding pencil layer after layer after layer just to cover the white grain of the paper. What I also like to do when I color is do one little part of the water first to see if I like what I colored and then do the rest of the page. Otherwise you maybe end up with something you don't like and then you spend so many hours coloring it and that would be such a pity. And trust me, this happened to me in the past. If you like my content, then please consider liking this video or subscribing to my channel. This would help me a lot. So here I have this happy little accident when I colored the bottom part of the water slightly darker than the top part. Um, when I took a step back, I realized that this was actually turning out better than I imagined. The contrast between making the bottom part darker than the top part feels like the bottom part is underwater and the top part is above water and for me that looks nice um, so I'm gonna keep it like this normally I would I colored the whole water the same the same pencils but I'm gonna do it differently because of this I chose to add some greens to the blues on the bottom which I will not add to the top part if you want to continue coloring the top part keep in mind that I also didn't add my darkest color to the shadows so only use a Tombow 451 and 452 and don't add any greens to the blue. This will keep the nice contrast between the top part and the bottom part.
When I hold my pencil far away, it will color more lightly than when I hold the pencil more at the tip of it.
Let's color the left part the same as we did on the right side. I sped up the video here, but I still added the markers and pencils I used, so that if you want to follow you still can. By the way, you can always manually slow down the video in the video settings of YouTube. I colored the inside of the crocodile's mouth darker, because there are more shadows there. After the sped up part, I will show you how I colored the fish. Try to find a color that will stand out from the blue, so for example yellow-orange. This will be pleasing to the eye, because orange is the opposite color of blue on the color wheel. I chose yellow orange red colored fishies because it will give a nice contrast against the blue of the water and I like finding Nemo.
Remember that you could always fix things. For example, here I found the yellow too dark, so no worries, I go over the top with a more vibrant yellow, the yellow Posca pen. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video and happy coloring!